Good evening, folks. Good evening. It's 6.13 p.m. 6.13 p.m. on December 29th, 2019. And this is the Word for Today, Part 3, for December 28th, 2019. The Word for Today, Part 3, December 28th, 2019. Let's go right into the Word for Today. 8.55 p.m. December 27th, 2019. 8.55 p.m. Jeremiah taken to Egypt. So Jeremiah is taken to Egypt. This is found in the book of Jeremiah in my, two, my, my new King James Version Bible. Jeremiah chapter 43, verses 1 through 13. Key verses are 5, 8 through 13. So let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 43, verses 1 through 13. Jeremiah 43, 1 through 13. Now as it happened, when Jeremiah had stopped speaking to all the people, all the words of the Lord their God, for which the Lord their God had sent them to them, all these words, that Azariah the son of Hoshiah, Jehonathan the son of Kareah, and all the proud men spoke, saying to Jeremiah, You speak falsely. The Lord our God has not sent you to say, Do not go to Egypt to dwell there. But Baruch the son of Neriah has set you against this deliverance into the hand of the Chaldeans, that they may put us to death or carry us away to captive to Babylon. So Jehanan the son of Kareah, all the captains of the house of the forces, and all the people would not obey the voice of the Lord to remain in the land of Judah. But Johanan the son of Kareah, and all the captains of the forces took all the remnant of Judah, who had returned to dwell in the land of Judah from all nations where they had been driven, men, women, children, the king's daughters, and every person whom Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard, had left with Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, and Jeremiah the prophet, and Berites the son of Neriah. So they went to the land of Egypt, for they did not obey the voice of the Lord, and they went as far as Tapanhes. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah and Tapanhes, saying, Take large stones in your hand and hide them in the sight of the men of Judah, and the clay in the brick courtyard, which is, in the, which is at the entrance to Pharaoh's house in Tapanhes. And say to them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will send and bring Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and I will set his throne above these stones that I have hidden, and he will spread his royal pavilion over them. When he comes, he shall strike the land of Egypt, and deliver to death those appointed for death, and to captivity those appointed for captivity, and to the sword those appointed for the sword. And I will kindle a fire in the houses of the gods of Egypt, and he shall burn them and carry them away captive. And he shall array himself with the land of Egypt, as a shepherd puts on his garment, and he shall go out from there in peace. He shall also break the sacred pillars of Beth Shemesh there in the land of Egypt and the house of God of the Egyptians. The Egyptians he shall burn with fire. 9.59 p.m. December 27, 2019. Israelites will be punished in Egypt. Israelites will be punished in Egypt. This is found in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 44, verses 1 through 30. Key verses are 2 through 5, 10, 12 through 14, and 26 through 28. So let's go to the book of Jeremiah once more. Chapter 44, verses 1 through 30. Jeremiah 44, 1 through 30. The word that, I, the word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the Jews who dwell in the land of Egypt, who dwell at Magdal, at Tapanhes, at Noph, in the country of Pathros, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, You have seen all the calamity that I have brought on Jerusalem and all the cities of Judah. And behold, this day they are desolation, and no one dwells in them, because of their wickedness which they have commanded to provoke me to anger, and that they went to burn incense, and to serve other gods whom they did not know, nor they, nor you, nor your fathers. However, I sent to you all my servants, the prophets, rising early, and sending them, saying, Oh, do not do this abominable thing that I hate, but they did not listen or incline their ear to turn from their wickedness to burn no incense to the other gods. So my fury and my anger were poured out and kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, and they are waste and desolate as it is this day. Now therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, why do you commit this great evil against yourselves to cut off from you man, woman, child, and infant out of Judah, leaving none to remain, and that you provoke me to wrath with the works of your hands, burning incense to other gods, in the land of Egypt, where you have gone to dwell, that you may cut yourselves off and be a curse and a reproach 
among all the nations of the earth. Have you forgotten the wickedness of your fathers, the wickedness of the kings of Judah, the wickedness of their wives, your own wickedness, and the wickedness of your wives, which they committed in the land of Judah in the Straits of Jerusalem? They have not been humbled to this day, nor have they feared. They have not walked in my law or in my statutes I set before you and your fathers. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will set my face against you for catastrophe and for cutting off all Judah. And I will take the remnant of Judah, who have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt to dwell there, and they shall all be consumed and fall in the land of Egypt. They shall be consumed by the sword and by famine. They shall die for the least to the greatest by the sword and by famine, and they shall be an oath, an astonishment, a curse, and a reproach. For I will punish those who dwell in the land of Egypt as I punished Jerusalem by the sword, by famine, by pestilence, so that none of the remnant of Judah who have gone out, who have gone into the land of Egypt to dwell there, shall escape or survive, lest they return to the land of Judah, to which they desire to return and dwell, for none shall return except those who escape. Then all the men who knew that their wives had burned incense to other gods, with all the women who stood by a great multitude, and all the people who dwelt in the land of Egypt, in Pathros, answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that you have spoken to spoken to us in the name of the Lord, we will not listen to you, but we will certainly do whatever has gone out of our own mouth to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings to her as we have done, we and our fathers, our kings and our princes, in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem. For then we had plenty of food, were well off, and saw no trouble. But since we have stopped burning incense to the Queen of Heaven and pouring out drink offerings to her, we have lacked everything and have been consumed by the sword and by famine. The woman also said, And when we burned incense to the Queen of Heaven and poured out drink offerings to her, did we make cakes for her to worship her and to pour out drink offerings to her without our husband's permission? Then Jeremiah spoke to all the people, the men, the women, and all the people who had given him that answer, saying, The incense that you burned in the cities of Judah, in the streets of Jerusalem, you and your fathers, your king and your princes, and, all, and the people of the Lord land, did not the Lord remember them and did not come into his mind. The Lord could no longer bear it because of the evil of your doings and because of the abomination which you committed. Therefore, your land is a desolation, astonishment, a curse, and without inhabitant as it is this day. Because you have burned incense and because you have sinned against the Lord and not obeyed the voice of the law of the Lord or walked in his law, in his statutes or in his testimonies, therefore this calamity has happened to you as it is as at this day. Moreover, Jeremiah said to all the people and to all the women, Hear the word of the Lord, all Judah, who are in the land of Egypt. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, You and your wives have spoken with your mouths and fulfilled with your hands, saying, We will surely keep our vows that we have made to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and pour out drink offerings to her. You will surely keep your vows and perform your vows. Therefore hear the word of the Lord, all Judah, who dwell in the land of Egypt. Behold, I have sworn by my great name, says the Lord, that my name shall no longer be named in the mouth, of any man of Judah in all the land of Egypt, saying, The Lord God lives. Behold, I will watch over them for adversity, and not for good. And all the men of Judah who are in the land of Egypt shall be consumed by the sword, and by famine, until there is no end to them. Yet a small number who escaped the sword shall return from the land of Egypt to the land of Judah, and all the remnant of Judah who have gone to the land of Egypt to dwell there shall know whose words will stand, mine or theirs. And it shall be assigned to you, says the Lord, I will punish you in this place, that you may know that my words will surely stand against you for adversity. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will give Pharaoh, Hophra, the king of Egypt, into the hand of his enemies, and into the, land, and in the hand of those who seek his life, as they gave Zedekiah, king of Judah, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, his enemy, who sought his life. Okay, folks and family, that's it for part three, the word for today, December 28, 2019. This is the word for today, part three, December 28, 2019. Everyone have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Have a blessed work day tomorrow if you work. Take some time off. If you're off that day tomorrow, enjoy yourselves. God bless you in everything you do. God loves you and so do I. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. Very soon. Get ready for his return. He's coming at a day and hour that you're only expecting him to come. Take care of yourselves and stay tuned for part four for the word for the day, December 28, 2019. I love you all very much. Take care. Bye-bye for now.